Hi, this is Alia, and I'm back with another um, deck review. Today we're going to be uh, reviewing the Dame There's Darcy, Dame Darcy, uh, Mermaid Tarot. And this is an independent deck. I think that you can still purchase this, although it is an old deck. Um, this is, uh, it, it didn't come back then in a box, so you would just get the deck. Uh, it's been a long uh, time since this printing, this edition. It's not the first one. I think it's more, it's either the second or the third because when it first came out, I think it didn't have the borders or it had the borders and then it, it just didn't have the borders. You see like some of them do, some don't. And then there was an issue with um, the sharpness of the images. Uh, so I think the, the second edition were a little bit blur. So the, when the first edition came out, by the time we uh, got informed about it and wanted to purchase it, it was sold out. And then the second edition, I think, came out that had this little issue. So I think this is the third edition, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so this is uh, little gifts that you get from um, uh, Dame Darcy. That's her uh, name here. You see that? You can check her out on social media. She does uh, nice things. I'm following her on Instagram and I really enjoy that. Um, this is the deck. She has come up with another one. I think it's the Alice, uh, Alice in Wonderland or Alice Tarot. Um, I have not had the chance to purchase that, but I am planning on getting it. So if it's not out of print, it's something that I will be getting either uh, this month or next month. I, I do really want it and every time I think about purchasing it, something happens and I don't. Because those independent decks uh, cost a lot of money. Not the actual uh, deck, uh, but the shipping. And it depends on the way that the artist has decided to uh, ship their products. Um, so if they want to do it from a um, using a company, like a private company, like a courier, <laughs> then it, it will go through customs. So then you will end up paying um, for customs and uh, more than the actual deck. Because the way they do it, at least in my country, and they, uh, from what I've heard, um, they add uh, the customs and duties and all the taxes on top of the total cost. So if a deck costs, let's say, 50 uh, dollars or 50 euros, and then you spend another 25, 30 for... Um, shipping which is very very expensive like that's a lot of money and they should do something about this this is like ridiculously a lot of money like sometimes the deck i don't even think that this uh sells for 50. i think that dame darcy has very reasonable prices and that it's uh not that expensive so i'm not sure and i don't want, i don't want you to quote me on that but i think that they sell for like 30 35 something like that but i might be off i haven't checked so i don't know and then the shipping uh would cost from united states uh if they're if they do it privately from private uh companies then it will cost like 25 27 uh, but in the case of Dame Darcy, she sent it to me um, from, um, I think it was the local, oh, I don't remember, but I didn't end up uh, paying any uh, extra fees. So I purchased this at a very reasonable price and the shipping was very reasonably um, uh, placed like as a cost. So the whole thing was an awesome experience and I really uh, appreciate that when the artist takes that extra step to do the research for you so that you don't have to spend all that money. Because sometimes the way they ship can cost you twice the price of your shipping and, the, and then the deck. And I appreciate the way it was done. So what I'm trying to say is that there's a lot of decks that they're out there. And when it comes to independent decks, one, the, one, the first thing is that you might not even have a chance to purchase it. So it might be sold out by the time you find out. And then the second thing is that it costs like total cost is too much i have spent on a deck that costs like 50 150 and that's like ridiculously a lot of money and when we're talking about euros because not dollars and and i don't understand like someone will purchase the same thing for 50 and free shipping because you live in the united states and 
we live in different countries and we have to spend all this money to enjoy the artwork. And I don't know what they can do about that, but I'm just pointing it out as a problem that it's been going on in the community and especially us that we don't live in the United States. And I think it was um, Avalon, uh, Cam Cameron, Avalon. Uh, she's a YouTuber. Uh, a long, long time ago that she was mentioning this problem and pointing it out because she wanted an independent deck and she was like, I want to purchase it, and but it's going to cost me. Because she, I think she used to live in uh, Australia, if I'm not mistaken. Now she has moved somewhere else and she has her own deck. So um, a beautiful deck that there's, um, she came together with, um, oh, I forgot his na her name. Anna Durian, something some like that. And they came up with this beautiful deck that the whole process uh, was uh, recorded on YouTube and stuff. Well, I'm doing a review for Dame Dance Darcy, but I'm talking about another deck. Okay, anyways, but do go check her out. So what I was uh, trying to say is that, um, so uh, there's a pro this is a problem that we all have. So there's a lot of decks, uh, Kickstarter uh, decks, independent decks that we don't even have a chance to get them because they're too expensive. So if there's a Kickstarter uh, starter um, of like three decks at the same time, you know it's gonna cost you like 450 euros for three decks. That's like ridiculously a lot of money. People survive off that money, you know, they leave, it's like monthly wages, you know? So anyways, uh, uh, that's enough. Whew, okay. I don't know why I felt I had to say this, but for some reason I did. All right, so this is um, the Mermaid Tarot. Now, when I first saw this, there was a lot um, going on with this deck back then and uh, the artwork and stuff. My opinion on the matter, it's just this fast forward a lot of years. So when I purchased this, the reason why I purchased it is because I had this Oracle, the Oracle of the Mermaids, and there were no mermaid uh, tarot decks back then out now you can find other decks but that was the only one that I could um, find and get my hands on and that's why I purchased it then once I got it and I started reading with it this is an amazing deck it reads beautifully so um, I really enjoy it and I really like the artwork so much like the way this deck look at this like Look at this. Do, do you see what I'm saying? This is like beautiful. This is gorgeous. This is very nice. It's so unique in its, uh, in its way. And that's something that um, uh, Dame Darcy does. This is so unique in, in the way she makes her decks. And the, it, it matters because you have some, it's a different kind of artwork. And so like if you have this in between other uh, decks, I could pick up her style. I, I know what is hers. And I, re I really like that. And uh, another thing is I do not understand why this is not out in mass production. Why it's still uh, in the independent version and people cannot purchase it. Because this is beautiful. This is just nice. Very nice. I like it. So, okay. I don't think that came with a book. Not I don't think. I know it didn't come with a book. It didn't come with a... Um, it didn't come with a book. It didn't come with a... Um, box or anything was just this which it has improved since then so if you get it now you might get the, uh the whole um the book the the box like the packaging will be more um complete so anyways uh now the full now keep in mind that this is a mermaid uh deck uh so you will be seeing that like mermaids and humans and uh, the love relationship that could that it could be between them and how they um, come together in their ways, uh, but it's very unique the way she does everything. So the full, okay, it's like the full. It's very nice, and she has this little uh, things like um, when they're talking or ideas. And then another thing that I like is more like a cartoonish, but it it could be like a magazine, like not a magazine, but. Um, those, uh, where, what are they called? The little books that they have the stories in them? Like the cartoons? I, I, anyway, so the magician, which I like this magician. I, I really like this magician. Very nice magician. It, it has a feeling of the 80s with uh, all this coloration in it. 
the colors, the way that they're together. Uh, the High Priestess, nice. The moon, the, the symbols, they're still here. The Empress, but it's the Empress of Mermaid Empress. The hair font. So it's the, the hair font. So it's a hair font of only humans. Or is it a hair font of uh, uh, mermaids as well? The lovers. Nice. Nice. And to me, like this image could be a tattoo. There, that's what I'm saying. There's a very unique style of um, the way she makes her uh, cards. Chariot, beautiful, very nice. Very, very, very nice. Strength. Nice strength. So you get the mermaid and the lion. It's not a human. It's half human, see? But it's the lion. So maybe they carry the same qualities as we do. Who knows? If they exist. Hermit. Very nice hermit. But the hermit seems to be a human where everything else is uh, mermaids. Is there a reason for that? Maybe there is. I really like this. This is very nice. That could be a tattoo. That could be on a t-shirt. That could be that could, that could be a lot of things. That's that's very nice. Justice. Hangman. And he's a human sailor. <laughs> Death, temperance, temperance, nice temperance. The devil, he's not so devil, is it? Like, ooh, it's a creepy little thing. The tower, and the star, you see half the body in and out and now taking the water and pouring it on the grass the that's 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 nice that is a very nice image of the moon and the uh, octopus is that an octopus the big one the sun, happy, very happy, happy little sun. <laughs> very nice. Judgment. The world. I don't think I've ever showed the backs, huh? The world. So this, these are the backs. Ace of Pentacles. I got so frustrated, like I got so in the beginning with all these things that popped in my head. So I didn't do a proper review. I didn't talk about the, the bags. I didn't talk about anything. I just skipped the whole thing. <laughs> said, said whatever, you know, I wanted and then I moved on. Okay. All right, I'm sorry about that. How about I do it now? So these are the bags. <laughs> this is the size of the, the cards. It's really close to uh, what we're used to. If I can match it, there you go. It's like just a little tiny different. Should I say something else that I missed? <laughs> oh, the cardstock is pretty good, but I know, as I said, that uh, there has been a change in packaging and stuff. So maybe if you can get this, you're not gonna get the same quality, which is very good, very good. I have this for, for a long, long time, like years, and I have used it so much and nothing, nothing has happened to it. Look at that. Nothing. You cannot even tell that it's been used. And because sometimes, not all the, all the times, I raffle shuffle, or yeah. So if you see, like there's not even um, a bent like you get sometimes. Nothing, nothing. You, it's, it looks brand new. And it's not. All right, so Ace of Pentacles. Okay, the Ace of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles. Let me concentrate again, because I kind of I lost my concentration here. So Ace of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles. All right, yeah, so it's the more uh, tangible things and stuff, okay. Uh, three of Pentacles, this is working on um, this, I don't know, goddess, or what is this? Could be something very, very nice. I, I, I really like this artwork. 
Four of Pentacles. He's holding on to what? To his direction, his goals, his maybe dreams as well. Holding on. Very nice. Five of Pentacles. <laughs> They're cold. The six, six of pentacles. So it's um, a giving, but it's not willingly. Sometimes we give because we have to. When giving has to be uh, done to initiate a giving so that you can get back but that's not the right way to see it. But even if you see it like that, it has to be done out of love. So this kind of giving is like not even giving. And the mermaids don't even care about your money or your whatever that is, your gold. Ah, Okay, so seven of pentacles. Eight of pentacles. That would be lovely if it was a uh, gold foil all over. It would be very nice. Like the details. Nine of Pentacles. And the Ten. Then we have the page. It's a male of Pentacles. The Knight. Ah, Queen. With our earthy uh, greens. And the king, very serious king of pentacles. Older, nice, very nice. And I'm just going to say, because I know this deck, it reads and it behaves in such a nice way. It's one of my uh, my favorites. Like if I had to pick, I guess, 10, I think that, that would be one, one of the 10. I don't know if it, if it was going to be like the number one or what number it would be. Um, but I know it will be in my ten, top 10 because I really like it. Um, maybe I should, I should, uh, try to do that. Pick my 10 most loved or liked or whatever. We'll see. Two of cups. Nice. And the ace of cups. The three of cups. All the ladies together. The four. So it says it like in uh, the Latin and then the it's like in English as well. It has uh, signed every single one of them. The Five of Cups. The Six of Cups. How he's offering the exchange. The Seven. Very traditional. Not with a mermaid, but the eight of cups the nine of cups and then the ten so ten we get the humans uh, back into the deck with the rainbow and the children playing in the background page of cups very skeptical for a page and I don't know if he even noticed what's going on behind him and holding the, uh, the fish in the cup little fish the Knight of Cups and the Queen of Cups. I think this uh, this uh, lady, this this Queen of Cups, looks like uh, the artist herself. It does. It reminds me of her, and maybe that was the intention. That I don't know. I'm coming up with it. It's not that I read it somewhere, but it does look like her. That's how she looks. Beautiful. King of Pentacle of Cups. King of Cups. I'm sorry. King of Cups. He looks ancient. <laughs> like Alexander the Great, maybe, or something in that direction. <laughs> Ace of Wands. The hand holding the wand. But it's her, you see? It's a girl here, the mermaid. Two of Wands. So, um, and three of Wands. Now, two and three of Wands. Uh, you see how we go back into the humans? And is it that some things just, uh, it's, it's pointing out that some things are more uh, hu human made. 
then uh, maybe the mermaids would not try to plan uh, the future and make all this, um, uh, have all these dreams and all these goals. Maybe they just live day to day and then enjoy uh, life and enjoy what they have and they uh, come together and appreciate uh, Mother Earth in a different way than we do and for us it's a different journey that we need to explore by setting goals and by trying to achieve and I don't know it just makes me think of that every time I see those two cards that like question it more is it do we have to do that every single time because sometimes this follows a disappointment in the long run like later on and could there be another process maybe? Or could we live life uh, in a different way? More prosperous and more abundant and more grateful than spending, you know, your whole uh, day anticipating or um, making plans and trying to figure things out. Then you would tell me that we wouldn't um, evolve as um, a civilization, that we wouldn't well, okay, let's just go back into the deck because right now I can be talking about myself forever and that's not fair for the deck. Four of Wands. A nice Four of Wands. Uh, five of Wands. There's something going on, definitely. We know that. We can, we can see that. We can sense it. The Six of Wands. And here is like, he has his success, his victory. But is it really like they have the ones that they want the humans or I don't know how that works. The seven <laughs> of ones. <laughs> it's like the thunder. <sighs> the eight of ones. All the ones had it that way Shoo. I would prefer that to going up but because it, it it has to do with the mermaids maybe it has to face where they live so the water instead of the sky because I feel that uh messages travel through the air because that what voice uh, occupies when we talk and when we communicate and that's another thing as well nine of wands Ten of Wands. I like her a lot. It's one of the images I like. I, I like all of them. Page of Wands. The Knight of Wands. He looks old school too. It's like we see uh, bits and parts of uh, different uh, uh, um, eras of human civilization, so like ancient, and then uh, I think that's like more 1800s or somewhere around there. Could it be? The Queen of Wands and the King of Wands, and this is amazing. This is amazing. Everything about this image I love. Ace of Swords, sword, Looking up, that's nice. Two of Swords, very nice image as well. Three of Swords, all the eyes. They're tearing some kind of a redness, <laughs> red liquid. Um, four of Swords. Then the Five. And then the six, I was just thinking that, because the five of swords is about humans here as well. And I was thinking, is, is it a human's way of thinking? The winning and losing, the competing between us, the trying uh, to do better than others. Is it really? Uh, okay, six of swords. Very traditional. So this this is a nice image as well. Seven of Swords. I like the whole deck as I keep repeating myself. Eight of Swords. Nine 
nine of swords. All the swords is just crying here. Uh, ten of swords. Page of swords. Nice. The knight. And then we have uh, the queen of swords and the king. Nice king. Nice king. Now with this uh, queen of swords, back in the days when this came out, this deck, there was so much going on about uh, this image that it was from something somewhere else and that um, it was uh, that she used another image from somewhere else to um, draw this. And maybe she did. I don't know because I have seen the other image because they had them right next to each other. But I don't understand why this is uh, not right. Because we all use um, things as a reference. So if you see something that you really, really like and you get the idea, you don't copy the whole thing, but you get the idea. I don't understand why that is wrong and why people have to be so mean sometimes. Anyways. Okay, so that was the whole deck. And the way this looks, the King of Swords, couldn't this be from a picture of the days when... Um, uh, there was uh, people, you know, like traveling a lot. So like your great great grandpa or something. That 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 looks like a like a picture to me. Very nice. Okay, so I think that was the whole review of the Dame Darcy's uh, mermaid um, mermaid tarot deck. And look at that, look at that, how nice this looks. This looks amazing. Uh, thank you for um, watching this. Thank you for being here. Thank you for all your support and love. I will be coming up with more reviews. Go check out my playlist because there's more things like a series for beginners and readings and a lot of other stuff that I'm going to be doing and I have already done. So thank you for watching this and thank you for your love. I'll come back. I love you.